नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबेड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन कंसिडर अ यंग्स डबल स्लेट एक्सपेरिमेंट विथ मोनोक्रोमैटिक लाइट ऑफ वेव लेंथ सिक्स हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर्स सो लेट एस राइट लैंडा सिक्स हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर्स द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट इज आई नॉट okay the intensity of light is i not at a point on the screen where the path difference is 600 nanometers so delta l is 600 into 10 raised to negative 9 meters the intensity there is i not what would be the intensity of the light at a point on the screen where the path difference is 100 nanometers okay so we need to detect the intensity or calculate the intensity at a point where the path difference is um, 100 nanometers Hundred and two ten raised to negative nine meters. Well, now because everything is in nanometers, we would have directly written nm. But anyways, okay. Now there are two formulae which you should know from the Young's double slit experiment to solve the problem. So what are those? First thing is the formula that connects the path difference with the phase difference. Okay. So suppose delta phi is the phase difference. Suppose. Delta phi is the phase difference. Now, what is the formula that connects pa path difference and phase difference? The formula is delta phi is equal to two pi by lambda into um, delta l. Okay, this is the first main formula required for the problem. Phase difference delta phi is equal to two pi by lambda into the path difference. That is that. And number two, intensity. at any location is directly proportional to square of cosine of half of the phase difference it's not cos squared delta phi it is actually cos squared delta phi by 2 now if you know these two formulae then there is no problem in solving the given numerical it is very simple so what we are now going to do is we are going to take the ratio of this i Two i not, okay. This i two i not, okay. And for that we need we will need cos squared delta phi by two for the the intensity i and delta phi by two for the intensity i not, okay. So let us write one upon two here in both the cases one upon two, okay. Now even the two pi by lambda part is going to remain the same. And now let me not write it in nanometers because I know that delta L is also in nanometers. Okay, so let me just say six hundred two pi by lambda two pi by lambda into into. Now let us go for I not for I not. What is the uh, path difference? It is six hundred nanometers. So let me write it as six hundred here. Okay, and now for this uh, uh, intensity with the required intensity, what is the path difference? It is hundred nanometers. Correct. 100 nanometers. So let us write 100 here. Okay, and now it is a simplification, a simple trigonometry problem rather. Okay, cos square. Now what will we have here? 2 to will get cancelled. This is 100. This is 600. So it will be cos square pi by 6. Denominator. Uh, what will what will go? 2 to will go. Six hundred, six hundred will go. So effectively, you will have cos squared pi. Okay, you will have cos squared pi. Cos pi is negative one, so cos squared pi will be one. How much is cos pi by six? It is root three by four. Okay, cos pi by six is root three by four, so its square will be. Oh, sorry, root three by two. Sorry, root three by two. <laughs> Actually, I was going to write the square directly. Root three by two squared will be three by four. Okay, so three by four is the ratio. So what is I? I the required intensity will be three times I naught by four. Three times I naught by four. That is option A. Question fifty-seven, option A. 